Hi there, I'm Carter Colt, and we're going to be doing some more magic today. Now the question is, how do you produce a king and a five? Very carefully. You just, uh, ah, pulled out from behind your head. Yeah, great, wonderful. You have a king and a five. King in the five. Nothing funny with these cards. But there is. Um, but first I'm going to go into something else. You remember your crazy teacher in school? She was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's two kinds of folds. There's the hamburger fold, which I don't know how this is a hamburger. Maybe it's a falafel, a pita, something like that. What fold didn't have a taco? No, because this one right here is the taco fold. Um, taco fold is lengthwise. And then your, uh, what was I going? <coughs> Where was I going with this? Oh, oh, I remember it was the hamburger Asa, hamburger Asa fold. So you have your hamburger Asa. And you have your taco. And when they come together, strange happenings begin. Strange indeed. It's like that card turns into this other card. Like it swaps. So, um, yeah, you can touch it. Go for it. I was wondering myself, self, how does this trick work? And I thought, you know, the best way to see how something works is to just look at it. So we do this. We tear a hole in the trick. And now I can't, you know, show you this enough. But there's actually oh let me let me prove to you first uh, what's going on here. I have put a um, hole in the card. Yes, it is a hole in the card, and it goes like this. Oh, did y'all see that? Uh, no, seriously though. Notch out of the card. Card goes up. Nothing is going on in this trick. The card goes in, the card flips over, the card comes out. It's freaky, it's deaky, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, at this point, I am really baffled. Because we've seen the card. I mean, I can have my finger in it. And it still works. Um, not. Uh, so at this point, it freaks me out too much. Got to destroy the evidence. Uh, but let's just be real, people. We know what's going on in the middle of the trick. There has to be a card that's half face up and half face down. And how do we get a card like that? You have to make one. You have to make one. And the way you make one is by tearing it. And you tear it in a very specific way so that when you put the cards together uh, you have a card that's half forward, half backward 
half forward, half backward. So then when you take this little mini version, you can be like, oh, hey guys, look. Look at this strange vortex of power. It, like, mutates the car back and forth. It's weird. But, uh, you saw from the beginning that they were cool. So let me tell you how it's done. Uh, unfortunately, I don't even know the real name of this trick. It's something like Twisted or something. Um, and the extra added part with the notch I took from some guy who lectured at our magic club at A&M. And unfortunately, I don't remember his name either. I feel really bad in the machine. But, let me go into it. Um, you take two cards. I'm going to highlight what's going on here with two cards because it's easier to see on the camera how this works. You're going to take your blue card. Well, you want them to both be the same color. It doesn't really work. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. But it works better if you do it this way. And what you're going to do is take and you're going to put it right at the edge because that's the farthest that you're ever going to push it in and then right on the bicycle card where the circle starts and the circle ends you're going to start and you're going to make a cut with the blade you're going to swap it over to the other side right where the circle starts right where the circle stops you want to do it as soft as you can while still piercing all the way through the card. Um, some notes on ease. Sometimes it makes it a little bit shiny where the cut in the card is. So you want to probably use a face card to cut and then you're not going to have that problem near as much. Oh, and then normally the card trick you just show that the cards are normal and there will be a cut down half the card. I do it a little bit differently. I actually tear the card in front of the audience and I've gotten away with it so far so I don't know if I'm lucky or if it's a valid way of doing it. But what I do is I take the razor blade and I cut deep right in the edge along the border and then I do a real thin cut, not too deep where the card will rip in half completely down the center back. And so what that does is that makes it easy to tear the card because it's actually kind of hard to tear a card. Um, so what you do is you have your card and you go, oh, how do we produce two cards? And then you can do anything you want. Show the two cards and then you go into your thing and you're going to take the card with the cuts. You're going to say, oh, we need to do a hamburger, whatever, fold. You're just tearing it like that. Try not to show too much that you've just bent the card completely in half real easily because that can kind of give it away. You then proceed to fold it into its half. Taco fold, this is how it's going to be during the trick, and you cover. Now, what you're going to do is... <coughs> tear up. Oh, what fold are we doing? What fold are we doing? Oh, we need to do the hamburger fold. And then you talk about the hamburger and the taco, and they go together and it makes the card change. Now you can come all the way up, I'm showing a little bit right there where the center is and you can push like it looks really cool whenever it's like right on the edge and you're showing it change like right on the edge you have to be really careful not to let them see right that. So you do that then you go okay I need to show you what's going on in the card. So you move it down, you tear your hole, and then once you've torn your hole, while you're going, hey, let me just show you what's going on right here, putting your finger through it, you're folding down those flaps that you cut. Now when you close it up, you can go like this, show that there's nothing going on in the center of the trick. Uh, so that is the like twisted card with the notch in it revealed. I hope you like it. Thanks a lot. Bye.